July 24th, crossing the 10 Mile River in Connecticut. Um, camped near the river last night. It was really nice. Um, the sound of the river it was nice and cool last night. I slept good. Headed now to Resupply. There's a store about a mile away, not far off the trail. Um, a little store in a deli. Gonna stop there and uh, resupply and get some breakfast. July 26th, crossing over the Housatonic River. It's about 6.30 at night. I just got my tent put up and it's pouring rain. And it just started raining maybe 15 minutes ago and I realized I have a puddle outside my tent and I can feel about an inch of water under my tent. So as soon as it lets up, I'm going to have to move my tent. I put it in a horrible spot, obviously. Um, I must be on a slope here and all the water is running under my tent. So I'm not unpacking, I'm gonna wait till it clears up and I'm gonna move my tent. Kinda sucks. Um, hopefully it won't be too long and I won't be stuck in here for an hour or so, but I'll be moving as soon as I can. Fun times. Well, that was fun. I moved my tent to higher ground, so I'm all set up now. Um, everything's dry, ready to end the day. Um, hopefully the rain doesn't get too bad tonight, but that's part of the game. Today is July 28th. Um, I'm just getting started for the morning. Um, and walked over a nice little bridge at the waterfall. I am actually crossed over into Massachusetts last night. Um, so I'm starting my day in Mass. Uh, finished up Connecticut. And moving forward, headed north. Getting closer to Maine every day. Beautiful morning. I'm on top of Mount Race Ledges. can't get enough of these views. Simply incredible. Massachusetts, what a beauty. Today so far has been an absolutely 
Fantastic day. Views everywhere. Walking on Mount Race ledges in Massachusetts. And I just can't seem to put my phone away. I keep taking it out to take more pictures and videos. It's absolutely stunning. Good morning. Today is July 29th. Um, I'm just getting started for the day. Um, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Um, here in Massachusetts, it's been raining the last, for quite a, quite a few days actually, and the mosquitoes are fierce because of that. Um, so today I am just, um, don't have a set mile um, planned. So I'm just going to kind of hop from shelter to shelter and once the rain gets too bad, I'll just stay at the shelter, whichever one that may be. Um, so hopefully all works out well, and I will see you all soon. Well, it's a little swampy in Massachusetts today, and tons of mosquitoes. Not my favorite day actually considering throwing in the towel after my first two hours because the mosquitoes were so intense today. I'm covered completely from head to toe. I don't have anything, any skin exposed because if I do, they will attack me. It's been crazy. A swampy, muddy mess. And that's how the whole day's been. Today is July 30th. Um, I just left the Mount Wilcox shelter where I stayed last night. Um, yesterday was an absolutely brutal day. The mosquitoes were absolutely insane. Um, but then it rained about three o'clock. Um, so they went away and it cooled off a little bit last night into like 60 degrees. So I stayed in the shelter. Um, the mosquitoes stayed away last night, which is great. Today it is supposed to be high 70s and then low of like 47 tonight. So um, be a little cool tonight, which I prefer. Um, shouldn't be too buggy. Um, but yeah, I'm headed about 15 miles today. There's another shelter. Um, I'll probably camp at the shelter, not stay in the shelter. Um, but as usual, I'm headed north. Um, hopefully the mosquitoes stay away today. Um, but with all the rain we've had, I'm sure they are just breeding and growing like crazy. So I'm sure the rest of the week is probably gonna be the same mosquito craziness. Talk to y'all soon. Headed north. The trail is a little wet today with all the rain we've had. It's more like a river. No way around it, but in it. may be a little wet but the temperature is perfect today um, it's actually been a beautiful day the bugs are not out yet today thank goodness um, it's just really wet right here walking through a puddle more like a pond
another day of walking in the mud. It's actually a nice day. Um, temperature's good, probably high 60s. Um, but everything is still wet and muddy. So trudging through the mud again today. Blueberry Hill by the AT. They offer free cookies and lemonade for hikers. Good morning. Today is August 2nd. Um, I just left Father Tom's campsite, which is a nice campsite um, made for through hikers. They have electricity there, porta potty, running water, or at least a water pump. Um, nice place to stay. Today I am headed up Mount Greylock, which is the highest point in Massachusetts. So headed there now. Um, it's not supposed to rain today, but it is a little cloudy, but hopefully um, the weather is correct and we don't get rain today. Um, anyways, biggest climb I've had in a while. Um, I'm headed out. Talk to y'all soon. Well, the climb to Mount Greylock was not as hard as I expected. It was actually pretty easy, so I'm happy with that. Um, but the view is spectacular. Looking over, I think it's the town of Adams. Um, and then we went up the uh, memorial, which is really nice. Um, I think I have about eight more miles to go to get the next shelter. So can't sit around too long. Better get moving. Talk to y'all soon. Hello, today is August 3rd. Um, I left the Wilbur Clearing Shelter where I camped last night and I'm heading 17 miles to the Congdon Shelter. Um, over that 17 miles, I believe the ascent today is about 3,800 feet and the descent I think is a little over 4,000 feet. Um, so it should be a good day. Um, also today, I am finishing up Massachusetts and I'll be crossing the um, crossing into Vermont. So that's exciting. One more state down. Um, so I'm headed north and I'll take pictures and videos along the way. All right, I completed Massachusetts. I just made it to the Vermont border. So I completed 11 states so far on the AT and I have three more to go. Headed north to Maine. Today is August 3rd and I have walked 1600 miles on the AT. I only have 593 more miles to go. So excited, can't wait to be done. Um, I'm getting closer every day. I'm blessed to still be out here. Well, it's about 7.30. I finally made it to the Condon shelter which is over there um, i'm camping so i'm already all set up for the night and now it's time to go and have dinner i'm starving it's been a long day good morning today is august 4th i just left the congdon shelter uh, where i stayed last night right now i'm on top of harman hill i believe it's called um, and I'm going to do a Nero today. I'm headed to Bennington, Vermont. Um, I, my feet are a little sore today, so I'm just going to stay there, um, rest my feet, charge all my electronics, and just take it easy today, and then head out in the morning. But today is a beautiful day.
Good morning, today is August 5th. Um, I'm just getting started for the day. It's uh, about 8.30. Um, today I'm headed about 15 miles to the Kid Gore Shelter. Um, I think my total ascent for the day is about 3,900 feet. Um, descent, I think, is was about um, 2,500 or something like that. Um, so it should be a good day. Um, I got, I think, two big climbs today, or decent sized climbs anyway. Um, but it's supposed to be a nice day. I don't think there's any rain expected. Um, but again, I'm headed north. This is the Glastonbury Mountain Fire Tower. Um, I hear it's a beautiful place to camp because you get great views of the sunrise and the sunset. Um, unfortunately, I will not be camping here. Um, I'm gonna head about five miles farther and go to the Kid Gore Shelter. But I will walk up the fire tower. Good morning. Today is August 6th. It's another beautiful dry day in Vermont. Um, I left the Kid Gore Shelter and I'm headed about 15 miles to the uh, Stratton Pond Shelter. Um, Today's, yeah, another beautiful dry day. Um, Vermont is actually holding up to its name, Vermud. There's still a lot of mud out here, but I have been very lucky that it's been dry for the past four days because I know the people who were here last week or even the week before had a lot more mud than there is now. Um, so I'm hoping the mud holds off a little, little bit while I'm here. Um, but anyways, I'm headed north. Um, I have a big climb today and I think another fire tower. So I will take pictures when I get there. Hope you all are having a great day. The Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. I'm headed up there now. Oh man, I love climbing fire towers. The views are always spectacular. August 7th I am leaving the Stratton Pond Shelter and I'm headed 11 miles today into Manchester Vermont um, I'm actually gonna take a zero tomorrow and rest up a little bit it's been a couple weeks since I've taken my last zero so I'm looking forward to that Good morning, today is August 8th. Um, I am zeroing at the Green Mountain Hostel. Um, I stayed last night and I'm also gonna zero today.
While I was zeroing today um, at Green Mountain Hostel, I decided to go through my pack and send a few things home. Um, so I am now down to everything that is shown here. I got my puffy, my Patagonia puffy, my raincoat, um, a pair of pants and a shirt. The bag up there has um, my sleeping, my sleeping clothes. I got my big Agnes tent. Um, my backpack itself with my zero shoes. I have my enlightened equipment 40 degree bag, my Thermarest Neo Air mattress. Um, I have a little fanny pack that has my um, personal stuff like my credit cards and my cash and um, some Excedrin and ibuprofen stuff like that. Um, this is my toiletries, my contacts, um, toothbrush. Um, little odds and ends that I need. Um, I also have my antimicrobial wipes and I use baby wipes. If for some reason I don't have enough water to wash up, I use baby wipes, um, some toilet paper and other toiletries and my water filter. Um, that is pretty much everything that I carry besides um, my food bag. And the total weight for all of that besides food and water was 17.7. Good morning, today is August 9th. I just got shuttled back to the trail by the Green Mountain Hostel where I stayed last night. So I'm feeling pretty good today. I got a new pair of shoes and some new socks to start off the day. Um, these are the Ultra Olympus. I have actually been wearing these since the start. So this is my fourth pair of Ultra Olympus and so far they have been treating me well. I have not had a single blister um, since I started, so over 1,600 miles with no blisters. Um, my feet hurt after 1,600 miles, but no blisters. So, um, yeah, starting off the day pretty good, feeling, you know, feet happy. I got a little pep in my step today. I'm um, not sure how far I'm going. Um, between 15 and 20, um, there are, I think, three shelters in between that mileage. So I'll just end up where I end up, um, depending on how I feel. But anyways, hope everybody's having a great day, and I will talk to you soon. The socks that I wear are called right socks. They're the only socks that I know of that are two layers. There's a layer on the inside and then the thicker layer on the outside. Um, they're made to prevent blisters and they seem to work for me. Uh, a lot of people out here use the Injinji, um, the toe socks as a liner and then put socks over them, um, which a lot of people love. Um, I tried them, but I just really didn't like things between my toes. I didn't like the toe socks. And I've been wearing right socks um, for many years as a runner. Um, so these work for me. I love these socks. Um, a lot of people don't know about them. So if you get a chance to try them, um, give them a try. I think they're great. But like I said, um, everybody's feet are different and um, people use a lot of different types of socks. Um, I do alternate these with darn tough socks as well. Um, but like I said, um, it seems to be working for me. No blisters so far. Uh, hope it keeps it up for the next 500 or so miles. Well, it finally cleared up this afternoon. The fog is lifted. Let's see what's up this climb. I'm at Baker Peak right now. Like I have a little bit more climb to get to the peak. But another beautiful view.
it's 7 10 I just set up my tent at the little rock pond shelter um, shelters over there I'm not staying in the shelter I'm just gonna tent tonight but now I'm headed to the pond to go for a swim Good morning and today is August 10th. I just left the little rock pond shelter where I camped last night. Um, yesterday I did about 20 miles to get to the uh, shelter. So um, today I'm just gonna play it by ear. Not sure how far I'm gonna go. Um, somewhere between 15 and 20, but probably closer to 15 because my feet are a little sore today. Um, but it's supposed to be a beautiful day today and I believe I have a nice gorge that I'm come up to which should be um, should be nice maybe go for a swim there um, other than that headed north and I will talk to y'all soon It's end of day, August 10th, and I didn't do 15 or 20 miles. My feet hurt today, so I actually ended up taking my time, and I only 
did 10 miles today. And I'm set up and I, I think it's called Minerva Hinchy Shelter. I didn't stay in the shelter, but I set up my tent camping here for the night. Gonna take it easy again tomorrow. Hopefully my feet recover. No bear box here tonight, so I have to hang my food in a tree. My least favorite camp chore. Good morning, today is August 14th. Um, I actually took it easy the last two days um, and zeroed yesterday. I stayed at the Yellow Deli Hostel the last two nights. Um, today I am slack packing um, up Mount Killington um, just to lighten the load a little bit. My feet have been hurting, the balls of my feet have been um, really swollen and painful. So I'm just kind of taking it easy, trying to lighten my load. Um, I took everything out of my pack except for a day's worth of food and water and left my tent, my sleeping bag and everything at the hostel. Um, so yeah, I'm slack packing today up Mount Killington just to see how my feet feel, if all goes well. Um, I'll either head out tomorrow or maybe slack pack one more day. Um, but today it's supposed to be a nice day. It rained a little bit this morning, but I think it's supposed to clear up. Um, and I hope I got some great views on top of Mount Killington today. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for the day, um, and I'll just see how it goes. I hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you soon. I'm climbing Mount Killington, probably about a mile left to the peak. Um, hopefully the sun will peak out by the time I get up there, and I'll have a view, but it's been pretty cloudy. But it's lush and green, very pretty in here. Well, no views on top of Mount Killington today. It was a little too foggy. Um, but anyways, headed back down. I think I have about six more miles um, before I get picked up and then head back to the Yellow Deli. But um, I will be passing the 1700 mile marker today. So that only leaves me with 500, actually 493 more miles to go. So I'm excited about that. Hello, today is August 15th and I just left Rutland, Vermont, um, the Yellow Deli Hostel. Um, I'm getting a late start today, it's about noon. Um, wanted to rest my feet a little bit more, they're still sore, so I'm only gonna do about 10 miles today and I am headed to the Stony Brook Shelter um, where I'm gonna camp for the night. Um, so I'm, again, I'm just playing it by ear, hopefully my feet don't get any worse but they're just really sore and i'm trying to take it easy as much as i can um, other than that it's a nice sunny day no rain expected um, so it should be a beautiful day and hopefully i have some views At the top of the lookout shelter having lunch just hanging out beautiful view today
Great place to take a little break. Today is August 17th. Um, I stayed at the Wintery Shelter last night and headed out about eight o'clock this morning. I'm about eight miles in for the day, actually probably more like seven miles in for the day. And decided to take a little detour to a deli. So it's about 0.9 off the trail, um, but I'm gonna go there and uh, break for lunch and then uh, get back on the trail. Plan on doing about 17 miles today. Um, but it's a pretty day, um, nice and sunny. So, taking a little lunch break. Goodbye, Vermont. Hello, New Hampshire. <laughs> 